What's up? It's me. We're back with another video. I'm gonna be doing a baseball bag review, or like what's inside my baseball bag. I know I did one of these a few months ago, but there's a lot more in the baseball bag now. So I wanna show you some better gear, some cooler stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm standing up so you can see me a little bit better. Turn the fan off so it's not in the background. There we go. Oh, let's get to the stuff that's like poking right out of the bag. My bats and basically all my batting gear. This is the Louisville Slugger. It's an ash bat. It's a three-time series. I got some lizard skin grip. It's an okay bat. Like, I swung this once in game. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. Next, which is, in my opinion, the holy grail of wood bats. It's the Cooperstown Bat Co. Um, maple. It's a maple bat. And it's in this beautiful blue coloration. I have this blue grip on it. It's not a lizard skin, it's nothing special, but it's just a basic grip. It's not as grippy as lizard skin, that's 100% for sure, but still pretty good grip. I was seeing this all baseball camp, and I really loved it. Um, This thing's just amazing. I got my number engraved into it, number 15. And uh, yeah, I love this thing. It's a really nice bat, I just have nothing but good things to say. I'm gonna be considering swinging this thing next year. If I had to guess a drop on it, it'd probably be drop three. And that's in a lot of other people's opinions, that's probably dropped three bat. Next is my Marucci Cat 9. This is a really nice metal bat. I'd rather have this over a Demarini Voodoo. Not Demarini Voodoo. Any Demarini product, basically. This thing is just great. I mean, I like it. It's obnoxiously loud, though. When you're in the cages, this thing just gets too loud, in my opinion. But that's, like, the only flaw of the bat, in my opinion. So let's get into the protective batting gear now that all the bats are done. So first off, we're gonna go with my Rawlings helmet. I think this is the best helmet on the market. Don't, like, tell me I'm wrong. You you could, it's your opinion. But I just really like the Rawlings helmets. Um, that's probably all I'll ever use. Um, so yeah, I got some stickers on there. Got some Big Lead shoe. Um, Wet Teal, that's a local company. Um, then we got this baseball with that guy. Um, but this is a hunting company, not, like they make hats and shirts and stuff, it's not baseball. Neither is this sticker here, this is a brewing company, making beers. I got that when I was in Cooperstown, I'm like, eh, I'll put it on my helmet, why not? Yeah, so I really like this helmet. Oh yeah, I missed the Mercy right, sticker right there. As you can tell, I'm really bad at putting stickers on helmets. <laughs> to the bag itself, this is the uh, Adidas bag. There's, I don't think there's anything special about the bag. Um. I would not get this bag again though. It's already ripping, like right there, that's ripped. And the actual handle itself is ripped. So I would not get this bag again, like ever. So yeah, that's my opinion on this bag. Don't get it. Don't get me wrong, I think these are better than the duffel bags. I have one, and that was in my last video. I don't like them for carrying around. So if I ever went to Cooperstown, I'd hate it. At my baseball camp, I hated it moving to stations. It sucked, I don't like it. People are trying to find your gear in a duffel bag. Horrible. Because <laughs> there's not pockets for things. It's just terrible. I don't recommend duffel bags. You can see in the background here, this first little pocket here. Inside of here is some Aleve muscle pain. That's amazing. If I did some pitching. So this is really good for that. It's really nice. Or arm candy, as people call it. Um... Pine tar. I use this on some of my wood bats. Um, I use it on this bat. I use it on this one. Right here, the Louisville Slicker. I haven't used it on my Cooperstown bat one yet. I don't know if I will or not. I'm not sure. This stuff's like really sticky. But yeah, I like these Rawlings sticks because it's way less messy than those big like barrels of it or getting it loose or whatever. And that's all that's in that little pocket there. Next pocket here. On top, I have my 44 first baseman. I love this thing. This thing is so beautiful. I got the gator skin there on the finger pad and the down there, that piece right there. I think this has like a Irish kind of glove. I still haven't finished breaking it in yet. I'm getting there though. I'm getting it to almost to the point I can close it. Full, like super close there but uh yeah i got the two web 
really nice. It's got the American flag here. Um, Luke 137, number 15 there. Cross in the center, kind of see there. Yeah, kind of, kind of see it. <laughs> Not really. Actually, let me move the light over here. So I think, oh, I still can't see it. <laughs> it's terrible. But yeah, love this thing. It's really nice, but my only complaint is the laces. They're super cheap. These untied the first day I got them. So now I'm planning on getting lace locks to put the um right here. But yeah, other than that, really nice. Thumbs up for me. Um, I'd recommend getting a 44 for anybody. Um, I got my Cooperstown Batco mallet. I really like everything Cooperstown Batco. My next bag I want to get, I want to get one of the Cooperstown Batco bats. Cooperstown Batco bags. They're really nice. A lot of stuff's really nice. Local company. Kind of local to me because I live right next to Cooperstown. Like an hour and a half away. Um, we got my cleats. These are the Nike Reacts. I really like these. They're different than the Adidas ones. I hate the Adidas ones. Like, with a passion. When you can tell the difference between these ones and those, you see the difference. But, uh, yeah. These are really nice. I like this. Okay. Put these on the ground so I don't get them all over my bed. Um, big seeds. These are the buffalo wing ones. Yeah, those are just left over. Um, pair of Franklin gloves. These are the ones I use with my pine tar. It has a little rip right there. So I use these with my pine tar. I really like the Franklin gloves. Just, they were already ripped from the end of the season. They go through really fast. Um, okay, I totally lied. I said I was going to go through all the protective stuff. So I just went through the bag. There's a lot more protective stuff at the bottom. Um, these are the De Marino, De Marini gloves. These are like these boxing or whatever these are. I like these for the wrist report. Those are really nice. These things are covered in dirt and seeds and everything else. Mirchi, love these things. This De Marini, I might not have. I don't know. My other glove. Um, this is the Wilson AT1000. I do this when I'm playing third or pitcher. So, uh, yeah, I really like this glove. This one's all broken in. So, yeah, I like this one a lot. I used this all last season. Really nice glove. There's no complaints about it. It's a little small, and the ball likes to pop out a lot, but that's just about it. Looks really nice. Looks, looks and is really high quality. Um... I got two balls right here. Two Rawlings balls. You know, you never know if you're going to get there early. You want to play catch with someone before the balls get there. Hope there is balls there. You never know. So I got two Rawlings balls in my bag. My uh, Rawlings elbow guard. Um, it's covered in dirt. I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh, I like this thing. I'm putting it on backwards. Yeah, I like this thing. Putting it on backwards. But yeah, I don't know if I'm putting this on the right arm or not, but yeah, I like this thing. It's really nice. I'm going against those faster pitchers, really. I don't wear it unless I'm going against a fast pitcher, because I don't want to ruin my elbow. That would really F up your elbow. But yeah, really nice. So got my number in there. Really, really like these. I recommend everybody gets one of these at one point in their career. Career, yeah, whatever, whatever. But uh, yeah, I really like these cards. Bag is empty and there's dirt all inside of it. <laughs> so now I gotta repack that. That is everything inside my baseball bag. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. I'm free to answer them whenever. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching.